Now to one of our headline stories, eight dead, two missing, uh, uh, two missing and communities cut off, scores displaced, and then there's more rain to come. That's the situation in the Ashanti regional capital, Kumasi, as floods butter the city following regular and persistent rainfall there. This afternoon, families of those missing in the devastation are accusing the National Disaster Management Organization and other city authorities of neglecting them. Let's go now to Kumasi, where Erastus Asari Donko is standing by. Hello, Erastus. Erasmus, tell us about how residents are coping in the face of this devastation. Well, um, we live in low-lying areas and uh, flat-prone areas, but this time around, the dimensions have changed. Uh, we are seeing uh, flooding in areas where the people were not uh, flooding, and so you can talk about uh, some parts of a doom, some parts of a tafo. And uh, other parts, uh, uh, Kuwait, Atunsu, Kuwait, Akrabon, and its environment, Kwadako, and other areas. Now, uh, some residents uh, who are displaced at the moment are sleeping with relatives and talking with friends. Um, you, when you walk around the uh, different area, you can find people who have uh, loaded um, their personal effects that have been destroyed by the floods are outside and are picking them, sorting them out one by one to see if they can get a clean clothes uh, to wear. We have been speaking with some of them who claim uh, that uh, things were not like this. Some are actually using it to uh, bridges that have collapsed about the area, uh, buildings sited in waterways mm. and all that. Mm. It doesn't look very good, the visuals we're seeing here, Erastus, but we're told also that to add insult to injury, if you like, the rains are not showing any signs of seizing. Exactly. Uh, meteorologists uh, that our sister station spoke with uh, indicated that we are going to see more rain uh, in the coming days, and so residents who uh, tighten their belts uh, for more rain and prepare. And NAPMO itself has issued a warning to people who are living in flat zone areas and low-lying areas to uh, move out of these uh, places. Mm. But when you speak with uh, these people, many of them are impoverished. Uh, some of them are poverty-stricken. And one woman who has three children living in this uh, one of the buildings that got flooded uh, mm. three days ago is telling me that she has nowhere to move. She can only pass with friends for a few days. Right. But when the rain subsides and the water has to see, she has to come back, uh, clean the rooms, and uh, stay there with the just children. Stay there again. And right. so we have such people uh, here, and not both hands are tied because they do right. not have uh, places, they told me, to move these people to, uh, to for, uh, for the meantime. And right. so that's the situation now. Now, yeah. if you remember, we uh, spoke about casualty. Uh, we are having eight people dead now. Uh, two are still missing. Okay. Uh, there is a 50-year-old woman uh, who uh, herself uh, has lost four children. Uh, she herself is missing. So the wow. family has given up hope of finding her alive. Wow. But they want the body. And they are asking Nagmo people to help them search for the body. To because they are claiming the mm. Nagmo people are not helping them search. Okay. They are conducting the search on their own. Erasto, thank you very much for the update as upsetting as it is. And Kumasi, a heart goes out to you, but hopefully authorities will rise up to the occasion and get some lasting solution and stop the unnecessary death of people there.